Hello again. Welcome back to the card mart. As you can see, I've got two cards on the table. I've got a box on the table. Not any. Just in that. Yeah. Well, I can't be. I've got two cards there. I've got a full pack here, so there can't be nothing in that, can there? Right. So I've got two cards on the table. We'll come to them in a minute. Don't be rushing me. What I'll do is I'll give the pack a little bit of a shuffle. Way just like that. Should we do another one? They're pretty fun. You get a sound effect again for free. Doesn't sound not like the cards, but pretty good. Right now, out of this lot, I want you to pick one card, only one. Don't take two. Confuse me. Just pick one. Uh, so you want to go for that one there? Okay, you want to go for that one there? There, yeah, I did say. What card did you get? You got a King of Hearts. We we'll get your King of Hearts, and we just put him right into the middle of the packet. So he's gone somewhere inside the packet. Now the two cards you didn't get this evening, did you? It's the Jokers. We've got one Joker and we've got two Joker, right? So we've got the two Jokers, we've got a pack of cards, we've got an empty box. Let's put the Jokers in the box. It's pretty long anyway. Right, now we just get this packet and do a little click over it and pick it up and just go way like that and make a bit of a mess. Hopefully something magical will have happened. And we'll find out, look at this. I put every card down. So you can see them all. Like a bloody typewriter this, isn't it? Ping! Not as quick as a secretary typing, I suppose, but... One, two, three and four. Last cards. Did you see that card in that pile? You didn't, did you? I know you didn't, because I didn't bloody see it. So it's not in me. Okay. I put two jokers in the box, didn't I? And I dropped every bloody card on them, didn't I? And one card's missing from that lot, any? Let's have a little look in the box. Well, if we open the box up and turn it that way, I can go, way, there's one joker. I can go, way, there's two joker. Now, if I just do that, we find another card in the middle. which just happened to be your king of hearts. See, that's the one you were looking for and all of that. You didn't see it, did you? Because he was dead in the box with these two. Yeah, not saying what they were doing, but they were in the box together. Make your own minds up. Right. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, stay there and I'll sort this mess up and I'll tell you how I've done that one, if you'd like. Okay. Right. All you need to do this trick is an empty box. Well, a pack of cards and take them out the box and you've got your empty box. You need the two jokers that came with the packet, obviously, because they've got the same backs to the packet. So you need the two jokers. If you haven't got the two jokers, you use two jacks, two queens, two kings, two aces. You choose is yours. So you have them, you have them facing down on the table, and you have a full pack of cards here. You also need a camera, because there is some editing to be done in this. Because how else do you think I got the card between? Ah, I'm only joking. I'm only joking. <laughs> All you do, start off, any kind of shuffle you want to. Borrow deck. Once they have got the jokers in, you can use a borrow deck. If you haven't got the jokers in, you use something else as I discussed just before. Okay. Right. So you can start off getting the pack all shuffled up because it is a completely random choice. So they just pick out any card at all that they want. All you've got to do is let them see that card and then put the card into the middle of the deck and control it to the bottom. Whatever way you want to. As seamlessly as you can would be better because then it looks like you've done nothing to the packet. I use my favourite move again. The one, oh, and, oh, I lost that card. We'll try again with a different card. I'm trying to do two things at once. You've got a five of clubs, goes into the pack. You push it on an angle. You kick it. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, I'm nearly losing it. I'm forgetting how to do my favourite move. It goes in. You push it down a little bit, and then you kick it out. You catch it with your first finger at the top, little finger at the bottom. You bend it out, and you just bring it straight to the bottom. And you've done it. So if I just move their card to the bottom, you do it whatever way you want to do it. You get it to the bottom. Then you pull in the two cards that you're going to be using. Throw them onto the top. Get a pinky pull down on the bottom card. Turn it into a thumb break. Peel off the top joker. Turn it over under the pack. Take the other card with it. There, that's the secret. Then you pull the other one off and just tap that on the top. Try and keep this motion the same. Fuck off you. Get back down here. In a thumb break. Just checking. You just pull the top one off, flip it. Look at that, I'm going too slow. Pull the top one off, 
let it flip over and take it just under the deck so you can just pull that card out with it. So you're just holding that card and do the exact same with this one. Let it flip over, just pull it slightly under the packet and pull it away. You can put the packet down. You can do a little reveal to show you've only got the two jokers. Show that the box is completely empty. I keep forgetting to do that, I do. But just make sure, it took, I, I did do, what was it, about eight takes of this trick on every one of them. It was that that I kept forgetting. Show them the inside of the box is empty. Then you put your jokers in. Shut your box up and shut, shut my mouth up. Then inside there, whatever, whatever you want to do with your pack of cards, well, within reason, whatever you want to do with your pack of cards, I know what some of you people think. Getting ahead of the game, sunshine. Get back in, I'll oh, tell you what, you jump in, the, jump in the queue, you can go right near the back of the line now, matey. Right, you just dribble the cards on top of the box. Doesn't do nothing, but it looks good. Take the pack away. Oh, keep hold of the pack. Whatever way you want to, spread the cards out so that you can see all the cards. Tell them to look for their card in the most that one. See what happens when I'm using a newer deck. <laughs> then I've watched before with not my spreads like with my favourite deck. Right, anyway, get them to look for their card. They can't see you. You open the packet up. Whatever way you want to produce. If you want to spread them, just spread them. Whatever you want to do. But what I done was just turn them over. Turn the top one face up, put it back on the top. Turn the bottom one face up and put it back on the bottom and then do your spread so it's in the middle and it's facing the wrong way, which gives a, bit of, a little bit of an effect, I think. You turn it over and then there's their card in the middle. Like, just like that. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you very much. I'm going for a lie down on a tablet. I'll see you again soon.